Today is a good day. Why? Well, I have six steel nib Monte Grappa fountain pens inked up and ready to go. And each one of them has got a different nib in it. Yes, Monte Grappa now have a full range of nibs at their disposal, uh, from extra fine up to 1.5 stub. And over the next few minutes, I'll endeavour to show you how they perform. These are the six pens in our armoury today, fitted with the different nib grades that we're going to have a look at. Firstly, with the extra fine, we've got the teacher's pen, which is the special edition Elmo. The fine nib is in the Ducali Murano Estrato. We've got the medium nib in the well-polished uh, copper mule. This patina mule has got the broad nib in it. Beautiful Blaze has got a 1.1 stub in it, and this skull has got the 1.5. So let's see how they go. First up, let's try the extra fine. Extrafine is not my normal choice, but that was a pleasant surprise. It felt firm on the paper, but had a smooth flex, and very little pressure was needed to get the ink going. So it's very unlike the extra fines I've tried before, and it certainly didn't want to dig into the paper. So those with smaller writing styles, I'm sure will be very pleased with this nib. Next up is the fine nib. Again, this is a surprisingly smooth finer nib. I found it easy flowing, it starts first time, it's not overly wet, and I think if you've got smaller handwriting or you err on the side of a speedy writer, then you're gonna like this nib a lot. This medium nib will make up a majority of the demand, I'm sure. Similar in firmness and flex to the finer nibs, it does feel softer and that's probably because of the extra ink it's putting down onto the paper. So if you're a strong and firm writer with your fountain pen, this nib will take all you've got to give it, well, within reason of course. The broad nib is the biggest of the regular ground nibs, so let's see if this is Rolls-Royce smooth. Like the other nibs we've tried so far, it's still quite firm but with a little bit of flex to make it very comfortable. Rolls-Royce Silky Smooth? Not quite. You probably have to go to the gold nib options for the ranges to achieve that. Um, unlike some broad nibs I've tried over the years, this is a little bit drier so it'll give you less, uh, more miles to the gallon which is a benefit surely. But it starts well 
delivers a nice amount of ink and I'm sure it'll give you great pleasure, especially if you've got a larger handwriting style. Now I do like a stub nib, so I'm looking forward to trying this 1.1. For a straight cut nib that was lovely, quite smooth, nice degree of definition and it didn't feel like it was going to dig in at all. Still firm but not overly so and that out of all of them would be my first choice. But as we all know in Fountain Pen World, choice is subjective and very personal. And now to the biggest of the nibs, the 1.5 stub. Big, not quite as smooth as the 1.1, vocal on the paper and certainly very theatrical. Obviously more line width and definition and I know plenty of people who would love to use this pen but it's probably one too far for myself. I'm so very grateful to Monty Grappa for sending me these nibs to try. It's been a pleasure to explore the six different grades that they sent me. Extra fine through to 1.5 stub, there's quite a variety there and I can tell by using all of these that they are from the same family as they share similar flex and feel throughout. But which one would you choose? The one that surprised me most was the extra fine, as I'm not a fan usually, but no sharpness, um, didn't dig into the papers at all, started first time and had a nice flow for a very fine nib, so there's a lot of people going to be um, won over by that I'm sure. My favourite though is the 1.1 stub. The 1.5 was one too far for me, a little bit too thick, but the 1.1 was a pleasure to use. But it's all subjective, isn't it? It's all personal and uh, very much down to the individual. So I hope you get the chance to try these pens and nibs soon and make a good choice and enjoy. They'll give you a lifetime of pleasure.